County. Now the Alabaster Parks and Rec Director says city parks are being vandalized. CBS 42's Courtney Chandler is live in Alabaster covering this for us. And Courtney, they've got cameras at Alabaster City Parks. That's just one way they're trying to protect the property there. Yes, Sherry, another way is that these, um, back, these restroom doors behind me, they lock at 11 p.m., but I'm told that still hasn't stopped people from vandalizing restrooms at city parks in the city of Alabaster. And these recent pictures that you're going to see on your screen are from the city's Facebook page, and it shows graffiti on walls, broken sinks, and toilet tissue on the floor. Parks and Rec's director Tim Ham tells me it's, it takes crews sometimes three to four hours to clean up the restrooms after they've been vandalized and costing the city thousands of dollars to clean and fix restrooms. Ham says young adults to teens are the ones who have been recently caught vandalizing park restrooms. I don't know why they do it. I don't think there's a specific reason besides I'm bored and I'm just going to go out here and 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 do something that I feel like fun and you know and not really think about how that's affecting others. And he's asking parents to step in by being alert of where children are at all times and discussing with them the severity of potential crimes they could face if caught vandalizing city property. And charges have been filed against multiple individuals related to vandalizing city park restrooms and other cases are still currently ongoing. In Alabaster, Courtney Chandler, CBS 42 News.